Hey, what's up everybody? This is GTI Game Time International. And today we are gonna show you our top loaders. Um, top loaders are kind of the structure of any collection. The, the first line of duty, um, penny sleeve, top loader, team bag. It's a nice little combo. Uh, I just got this set in from a friend. He, he gifted me, um, light, light it up the whole set. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna switch out these, um, top loaders right here and you can see I don't know if you guys have top loaders like this but there's gonna be two parts and they're kind of glued together and you can kind of see the glue and everything um and there's some companies out there they make a top loader where there's like no penny sleeve I'm not a big fan of that I kind of like to have the penny sleeve still um so this is that top loader there and you can see and then this is our top loader here and you can see the difference right there. You can see ours got a little bit more of a blue tint to it and it does have a nicer edge all along. So I'll just take a stack of these um, and you can just see what you're gonna get. You can see there, it's a very clean top loader. You can kind of see it there. It's really nice. Um, it's not gonna have a lot of uh, scratches on it when you open it. It's got a, a clean edge to it. Again, like I said, there's not gonna be a lot of like glue and stuff everywhere. And um, here in front of me, I think I got some more packs. I'm just gonna open these cause I got a lot of organizing to do um, for cards. So let's open a few um, packs. Oh, that's tight. There you go. So you do know that this uh, plastic holding it is gonna be pretty tight. So here's a new pack and you can kind of see what you get in there. Again, you're gonna be getting a really nice, let me get it there for you, there you go. Oh, lost it again, there you go. So you're not gonna get scratched up top loaders. And the other thing about our top loaders is the rigidness of these, they're very rigid. So you're not opening your top loaders with scratches, guys. Not with GTI products. Um, and so with this lighted up, um, let's get some of our penny sleeves here. Uh, we got the penny sleeves, the team bags. I recommend putting team bags on um, on your top loaders. And I'm just going to crack that open because I'm going to work. You know, when you work, you don't need a bag. If you're not you know, putting so many, I'm going to put hundreds of cards right now, so gonna be kind of busy so there you go you got your penny sleeve and you can see the fit on there and then with the top loader here I mean you can push it in you know some people like to push it in and then kind of tap it right there I mean that's one way to do it I like to kind of pop it open and push through but there you go that's our top loader right there very clean top loader guys um, they're available at our website for a pretty good price too, um, for how good of a quality the top loader is. And again, you can see here, just that's from not having a team bag, from using a top loader that's not, you know, a good top loader. You're gonna have that, a lot of glue cuts and pieces like that, but ours is gonna be more like that. You can see there's none of that. I mean, there's a little bit, but there's they're clean. <laughs> It's a clean top loader, so that's going out. And then also with these penny sleeves, I mean, that's a really tight penny sleeve on that card. I don't recommend using such a tight penny sleeve like this. Um, again, our penny sleeves are designed for 35 to 55 point cards. You can use it for both. Um, and so there it is. Let's get another GTI. And then what I would do is I like to take it, I'm so used to it, I just go like that and pop it through. And that's how I, do my top loaders okay and then the other step is using the team bags right here we got excellent team bags and the cut on our team bags is just it's a really nice cut so when you get your team bag there it's gonna fit really nice and you can see it's not gonna leave any it's just gonna look nice so these then would go into our um, top loader binder which is the next step. Um, but let's just kind of get another team bag on this curry here. That's a nice looking curry. 
I've seen the prices on these dropped a lot. Like the numbered ones are pretty cool. I saw there were some numbered ones I'd like to get of Lillard. Who is not shooting very good these days, but I think he'll be okay. So yeah, the reason for the team bags is just to avoid the friction. When you're going like this, it's not going to scratch up that, um, that top loader. And there's a lot of junk that gets in here. Look at this. This is a great example. So you can see there's like stuff. See all that like stuff? That ends up going in there because that's open. The team bag allows that to close. So the team bag is really important when you're organizing your cards um, to avoid like gunk and junk and whatever getting into the cards because it's just going to fall into there. And then it's going to mess up the card. It's just not, I mean, not everybody's grading the cards. You can see here, there's like some gunk there on the top. Even if you're not grading the card, it's just more of respect for the card and to keep things clean, I think. I don't necessarily think like it's all about grading all the time. Just about having a nice clean collection. It's just nice and it feels good. So that's the 35 point I've been using. Now for the 55 point, um, here's our 55 point right here. Okay, uh, let's open one of these. And again, when you open these, you can see here, you're just gonna get really clean top loaders every time, guys. That's what you're getting with GTI, really good quality. And you can find us at www.gametimeinternational.com if you're looking for some rigid, very good quality top loaders, we got you covered. Like. That's rigid, right? And so that's a 55 point right here. So this can fit uh, a, a lot of things. Uh, one, it can fit optic, these type of cards as well. It's just gonna be a little bit, you know, a little bit smoother. Like, you know, is it gonna fall out? No, but if you put pressure on it, you know, sorry, if you put pressure, it can slide out. I like using 35 point PT for these type of optic cards and stuff, but 55 point is absolutely no problem at all. Um, there are some like Recon and a lot of those type of brands, they do require a uh, 55 point. All right, on the search for 55 point, I think the PC might have a little 55 point in there. This is one of my storage boxes here. If you're looking for a nice storage box, you could check us out and pick one up. They're really handy, um, really good quality. There's a nice velvet right here. You could put graded cards, you could put mags, you could put top loaders, and we are looking for that 55 point and bingo, there it is. That's a nice Origins right there. I just picked this up. Um, so we're gonna take that card and show you our 55 point, um, which we just opened. So here we go. Again, this is using the same penny sleeve as the 35 point. This is our 55 point. And when you get it in there, again, it's just, oh, there you go, nice and easy. So that's great for 55 point cards. It is extra rigid, guys. Um, so if you are looking to get some top loaders for any type of 55 point cards, we got you covered with some really, here's another one, I just get a new one. And you can see it's not gonna, be any issue for you getting your 55 point cards in there. So it feels really good. I like to go like that, give it a little tap, get it in there. No sliding at all when you get it down, none at all. That fits a 55 point card like a glove. And those are available at our website at www.gametimeinternational.com. And again, the team bags are there as well, which I highly recommend getting your team bags. Otherwise, your top loaders are going to have a lot of that all over it, and that's not good. So if you want to keep your cards nice, hook up some Game Time International top loaders, team bags, the whole works, and get these guys in, you know, where they belong, not, not on LeBron James. <laughs> so let's get another uh, lighted up here. I'm working on this uh, and getting them into our top loader binder. So these, again, you can do 35 point right here. It's going to be a little bit more of a, more of a grab. If you want to do 55 point, it's going to be able as well. So that's what's cool about our product. The cuts are designed to where you can put these cards in there. It depends on what you like. They're not going to fall out, right? It's, it, 
if you want to use all 55 point, that's that's cool. But if you want your um, 35 points a little more snug, I recommend sticking with the 35 point for these type. It's up to you. Now, when you're looking at older cards, if you are into collecting older cards, guys, let's say, I don't know, let's get some older cards here. Um, I don't know, we got like an old upper deck, Isaiah Thomas. We'll get older than this in a second, but if you are dealing with these type of cards, that's, a, that's an older card, right? That's not gonna have the same thickness as a, um, prism or something like that so definitely our 35 points are, are what you want for this and that's going to get loose perfect fit it's not going to fall out or anything right so that's the 35 point for that now if you use 55 point for these type of cards it might be a little bit too much i mean it can still work but if you give a little bit of force i mean that isaiah thomas could could fall out of there so i wouldn't use 55 point for this old for that type of card right it has its limits, I guess. Now, if you want to go a little bit older, and let's say you are a collector of like these type of cards, Maurice Lu uh, Lucas, this is the 1979, right? Definitely you want to stick with the 35 point as well for these type, because they're just thinner cards, okay? And you're gonna see there, it's just really got a nice sturdy feel to it. When you feel these top loaders, you're gonna know that they're not just your run of the mill top loaders. They've been, you know, carefully produced to make sure that, you know, the quality is there. And so even on the 130 PT, you can see the quality on these. It's just, they're gonna come out of the pack really clean. Really beautiful um, quality on these 130s guys. Uh, let me get a 130 card so that we can take a look. And probably going to dig back in the little PC right here. Make sure that we can find a 130. There we go. Shade and Sharp's Rookie. Pick that up in Portland, Oregon, at a card show from the dealer next to me. He said he wanted to trade for something, so we traded. And so why do we have the team bags? The team bags takes the blunt of all the scratches, leaving our, you can see, top loader extra clean, just the way we want it. So here you guys go. That is our penny sleeve right here. You can see the size of the penny sleeve for the 130 is just beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna get into a thicker 130 here. And you can see, there you go. And that is not a true 130 even. That's impeccable. Now, if you're going to National Treasures or um, uh, let's say Noor. I know Noor is definitely, let me get a Noor so I can show you, which is a little bit thicker than what I just showed you there. Here's the Noor. Now, this one is definitely more of a 130. I'd say that impeccable is more like a 110, 120, but the 130 works for, for both of them. So let's take uh, Shade and Sharp out of there. He's not playing so hot right now. Neither is Lillard. Both my guys are gonna. So here's the 130 and you can see what a beautiful fit, guys. Give it a tap. That's not going anywhere. Nice 130. Right. And then these as well, we do have the, um, the bags for these as well. Let me find those. There you go, team bags for 130. And you know, any type of top loader, I'm definitely putting a team bag on there just to keep it from not getting scratched. Otherwise, the top loader has a shelf life. It's, it's gonna have issues, right? And so there you go. That's safe in there. We got our Lillard there. Let's get another one. This is Shade and Sharp, right? Yeah. Shade and Sharp. Get another team bag for him. Okay, guys. So if you are looking for top loaders, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope this gave a better clarification of what kind of quality Game Time International has. We do have the spinners in the back. Those are available. We do have storage boxes. We do have um, top loader binders. And of course... 
one of my favorite. We do have mags 35 to 55 point PT coming out soon with the 130 PTs. Um, we got you covered and we're just going to keep growing and keep shooting out videos to show you our products. You can check us out at www.gametimeinternational.com. Uh, visit our website and if you have purchased our products, leave us a review on the website. It really helps. Um, we're starting to gain traction with some reviews and I'm really excited to see what else people have to say about our product. See you guys later. Bye-bye.